Now dogs could be about to provide us with the greatest gift of all. When it comes to combating human disease, dogs could hold many of the answers. They're going to help us tackle some of the most dangerous diseases of our time, diseases that are killing millions of people every year. Dr. Eleanor Carlson, a geneticist at the Broad Institute, Harvard, is on the hunt for gene mutations that could throw light on human diseases. I think there's hundreds of diseases that are in common between dogs and humans. There's diabetes, there's um, various cardiac diseases, there's epilepsy, there's a lot of different cancers, bone cancers, breast cancers, uh, brain tumors. The narrow gene pool within a dog breed makes it far easier to pinpoint genetic mutations than in humans. For probably more than 200 years, people have been making all of these different breeds, and now we can just use them to study genetics. If you looked in you know, a population of humans, so all the people in a country like the UK, you'd have quite a lot of genetic variation across them. People would be quite different from one another. But within a breed, dogs are very similar to each other. Particular dog breeds are prone to certain diseases and this makes them incredibly useful to study. Today, the team are taking blood samples from boxers, a breed that is susceptible to a fatal heart disease called cardiomyopathy. What happens is they have um, irregular heartbeat and compromises blood flow in their body, so it can cause um, collapse and also it can cause sudden cardiac death. It's an invisible disease that affects humans too, causing sudden death in apparently healthy people. The DNA in boxers' blood could hold vital clues to the genetic causes of the disease. Dr. Carlson is part of the team that in 2005 mapped the dog genome all 2.4 billion letters of the dog's DNA code. Once we had the dog genome sequence, we could design a gene chip, which would allow us to compare all of our sick dogs and our healthy dogs and find the genes that are causing diseases. Using a genotyping machine, Dr. Carlson is able to simultaneously analyze thousands of regions of DNA from boxers with and without cardiomyopathy. So what you see when you compare the sick dogs to the healthy dogs and go across the genome from chromosome 1 to chromosome 2 and across is that most of the points are right near zero and there's not a lot of differences between the healthy dogs and the sick dogs until you get to chromosome 17 and there all of a sudden you have a huge number of differences and this is really exciting because this means that this is the region of the genome that holds the gene that's causing our disease. Carlson's team have honed in on this region to pinpoint the exact gene. We found a gene that's related to the sudden cardiac death. We think there's probably another one as well because we haven't told the whole story yet, but we've got one and we think we know what the mutation is in that gene that's causing the disease. Now the mutation has been identified, the team have been able to locate the corresponding gene in humans. It's accelerated a process that without dogs could have taken decades.